I would say it's the first really big move by a major retailer, Andrew. I mean, Walmart stopped selling a lot of this stuff a couple of years ago, but that was not really in response to anything. That was just a pure business decision. The CEO and the founder's son of Dick's Sporting Goods saying, really, this was an emotional decision. That they had seen and heard these kids from Parkland, that they had seen and heard the cry, and that they are making a business decision based on that emotional reaction. But here's the thing. They're not stopping selling guns. They're still going to sell most types of guns, although you've got to be 21 years old to buy them. They are going to stop selling what they call the modern sporting rifle and some of these attachments, the AR-15 style guns. We'll see how the market reacts. From a business perspective, Andrew, you've got to remember, the NRA has about 5 million members, maybe 4.5 million in the United States, call it whatever it is. There's about 180 million teenage and adult consumers in the United States. So when you just simply look at the numbers and if people choose a side, maybe they're just going with the side of the numbers as well. Brian, it, Dix wasn't selling them anyway, right? The field and stream division right. of Dix, what? they suspended after Sandy Hook brought them back. So yeah, they, no, it's no, like I, I thought Bella's Dix the didn't, uh, the way I saw it was Dix stopped selling them in 2012 right. before they even started a field and stream. They started field and stream in 2013 and then started selling AR-15s in their field and stream stores, of which there are now 35. But they never resumed selling any uh, assault rifles in the 610 Dix stores that they have. So this is really just going back and putting field and stream on the same page is where Dix has been since Sandy Hook. True, but they suspended it after Sandy Hook, Joe. So now he has said this time that he is adamant this is a permanent decision. In other words, he has said we are right. not going to go back and resume selling them at any of our chains, the by the way. Stream or, or Dix. But Dix hadn't been selling since, two, had never resumed since 2012. Just Field not and that, Stream. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, not that right. I'm aware of, yeah. Right. So Do now you you've got Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, which is the same parent company. Still... I have a call into them, an email into them. They have not responded to me as of yet. They'll stop you too. Well, so that's the question. What other companies could you see deciding to follow suit? And how would you differentiate this decision with the one that Walmart made? Uh, for many years, they denied that the reason that they stopped selling those AR-15s was a function of this emotional response. They said it was a business decision. Yeah, and if, if that's what they said, I guess you got to take them at face value, Andrew. Well, it, I mean, here's is. the thing. They're running out of major retailers that are. We've got now Dix is saying no. Field and Stream is obviously no. You've got Bass Pro Shops that own Cabela's. There's Gander Mountain and there's a few others out there, but the majority of guns are sold at gun shows and at mom and pop retailers. Our Kate Rogers, excellent small biz reporter, she's been to some of these shops. So the number of national chains is actually not that great. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.